Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this case study, you will perform the static analysis of a connecting rod. Here is the connecting rod that is fixed at its crank end and the load is applied at its piston end. A load of 8000 Newton is applied in this direction and another load of 3000 Newton is applied in this direction and a load of 1800 Newton is applied in this direction. We will perform simple static simulations in solid rocks in, our, in order to check the in order to check the stresses as well as factor of safety on this connecting rod. We will also learn how we can assign these loads in specific directions. So first of all, download this connecting rod model from our video description link. So open connecting rod in SOLIDWORKS and start a new simulation study. Click on new study. Then give it a specific name that is static analysis of connecting rod. Ensure that static study has been selected. OK. First of all, assign material to this part. Right click on the connecting rod and go to apply material and align steel. And now apply fixed to boundary conditions. Select fixed geometry. Then select this crank and ask connecting rod. Okay. Now it's time to apply the loads. A load of 3000 Newton is applied in this direction. Click on the loads, select the force and select this internal cylindrical face. Then select the directions and from the directions select a specific plane that is the top plane and uh, along direction 1 select this no this is in this direction yes select this direction because we want to apply the load in these directions reverse the directions and assign a value of 3000 Newton Okay. Again, so again apply a load in X directions that is 1800 Newton. Go to the load force and select the this face and from directions select the top length. And from force, select this directions. Assign a value of 1800 Newton. You can change the symbols of the symbol as well as color of the load symbols. Just go to symbol settings and change its color to green. You can also change the symbol size. In the last, you have to apply a force in negative z direction, in this direction. Again, select the force loads. Select this force, face, cylindrical face of on piston side. 
and uh, select the selected direction options again select the top plane and select along plane direction 2 assign a load of 8000 newtons you can change the symbol settings change the color of symbol To blue and also change the size of the one fifty. Okay, so you have applied a load on piston side of connecting rod. It's time to generate the curvature based mesh. Go to mesh, create mesh and from mesh parameters select curvature based mesh ok wait until mesh is being generated so a curvature based mesh has been applied to this connecting rod now it's time to run our simulation study run click on the run this study button and wait until our solution converts so our simulation has been completed now go to the stresses edit definition and select megapascal and from the chart options select floating type So maximum stress is 250 megapascal that is when in the yield strength of the material that is 620 megapascal that means this connecting rod is safe under this applied loadings. You can also check the area where maximum stress occurs just go to stress again edit definitions. and click on the show maximum annotation so here the maximum stress occurs in this region in this region if you want to check the displacement click on the displacement so maximum displacement is 0.8 millimeter you can animate Okay, in the last we will check the factor of safety, right click on the results and go to the defined factor of safety plot and from the failure theories select maximum one major stress theory. Okay, you can see in the minimum factor of safety is 2.5 that is greater than 1 that means that our connecting rod is safe under these static loading conditions i hope you enjoyed this lesson please make a practice of these tutorials in order to learn more on solidworks simulations subscribe our channel thank you for watching take care bye bye